This video tutorial is brought to you by Desi Studio. Now we are going to be transferring the color grading from this our image here. This our image with glasses. We will be transferring the color grading from this image into this other image. So to do this process, the first thing you have to do is you just click on this other image that you love. Then you go to your file. Then you choose export. Then you select save for web and you allow the save for web to open once the save for web have opened you will see something like this another shortcut again that you can use to open this save for web let's just go to this place let's remove this our save for web another shortcut you can use is that you can press ctrl alt then you press shift s on your keyboard ctrl plus alt plus shift and s once you press those four keys let me show you again if i go to this file and export and you can see it alt shift ctrl s so once you press these four keys on your keyboard you see jpeg you see maximum you see progressive and the rest so make sure that this jpeg is not selected make sure the jpeg section is at gif and once we click on the gif it has already selected three colors for me let me just remove these three colors the normal colors is supposed to be 256 or 250 something that's the normal color is supposed to be showing you 250 something but because i have already done it before that's why it was showing me three colors so you will see all this list of colors in your color table these are the colors of the image you can see yellow you can see blue you can see red so in this color section here you change this to five six you change it to five and once you change it to five you will see your image will then change and once the image change the next thing now we want to do is that we want to save this color table we want to save the colors in our color table because we will be using those colors that we save to apply it on the image in which we want to move the color grading into so to save the color table you just have to go to this color palette menu once you click on the color palette menu you will see save color table and once you see the save color table you just scroll down you see new colors and the rest so just click on save color table and once you click on it you will be able to save and select the location that you wish so i'm just going to select pictures and once i select pictures i will just rename it to let's rename it to d e t t y table so d e t t y table and once i'm done i'm just going to click on save on my screen and we are already done we don't need to do anything again so i'm just going to cancel it now the next thing you have to do is to go to your image that you want to transfer the color grading into so i'm i want to transfer the color grading into this image so i'm going to click on the image now and open the image now the next thing you have to do is to go to your creating adjustments layer and select gradient map and then you head to windows and select swatches s w a t c h e s so once you select swatches you will see this list of colors you see rgb you will see cmkyk you will see pastel you will see light pure and dark what we are going to do here is that we are going to open those colors that we save we are going to open it in this place so we'll be able to apply it on our image so to load those saved swatches that you already saved the color table that you already saved you can just go to this place here and you select import swatches but sometimes in your own kind of photoshop you might see load swatches but in mine i'm seeing import swatches so once you just click on import swatches it's going to open this file area of photoshop so what you are going to do now is that you are going to look for the location that you saved those color table before you are also going to change these areas to color table just have to select it and as you can see i'm selecting this data table once i've selected it i'm going to just load it and once we load it we are going to see this data table here and the color table is now showing on this swatches list so now i'm just going to double click on this gradient and map section i'll just double click on this place to open my gradient and map and once i'm done i'm just going to move this our swatches i want to move it here and you also double click on this area you have to double click on this area too and it will open the gradient editor and as you can see the gradient editor has opened so what we are now going to do here is that we are going to be moving some of these colors into this area now you have to click on this area you have to click on this side color here once you click on the color you will see that this our color place is now available so once you also click on this place you will see your color picker has shown 
on your screen. So once the color picker has shown, we want to select one of these colors here. We want to select one of the colors here. So we'll be doing the same thing for all the five colors. So for this first color, this one that look like somehow brown. So I'm just going to select this color. And once I select this color, cram these numbers for the brightness. Don't forget it. This our number here is 91. So once I've highlighted everything, I'm just going to press Ctrl C to copy this 91. And once I'm done, you have to just click OK. And once you're done, you have to change the location to that same number of the brightness. So I'm just going to change this location to 91. Now you have to do the same process again. So I'm just going to click on this area. We are not going to be clicking on this one again. So we are going to be clicking on this second one. Once we click on the second one, you'll see that the color section has changed to white. So you just click on the colors again. You'll see your color picker has opened. Now we're going to select the second color here. And this second color is brown. So once I just pick this second color, you'll see that the color picker has changed. And our color picker has selected that brown color. And you have to make sure that you master this number for the brightness just highlight everything press ctrl c to copy it and now you have to click ok paste that number into the location so i'm just going to press ctrl v now and the number is going to change to 78 for the location and as you can see this small square something here has moved to this area so now for the next color that we are going to be picking this color that look like ox blood you have to just click on this area once you click on it another square icon is going to show again then you move to your color section just click on this color place and it will open the color picker so once the color picker is open we want to select this our next color so once you have selected it you have to make Make sure that you cram the number for this b is 68 so i'm just going to copy it and click ok then i'll move to my location and paste that 68 and once i'm done i'm still going to do the same process again i will just click on this area then once i click on it move to your color just click on the color and the color picker is going to open so once the color picker is open i'm just going to select this our next color that we are going to be using this fourth color here once i click on it it's going to show this 21 48 81 you see hsb so i'm going to go to the b area to copy the number 81 so once i copy the number 81 for the brightness i'm just going to click ok then go to the location and paste 81 and for the last color i'm just going to click on these areas again go to our color and select this color that look like darker green and once i'm done i'm going to go to the b area to copy the number 15 and hit enter on my keyboard and i'm going to paste the number for the brightness on this location so once you are done you have to just click ok for the gradient editor and once i'm done i'm also going to collapse this area so now what you are going to do is i are going to change the blending mode so i'm just going to go to this blending mode option and change the blending mode to soft light once you have changed the blending mode to soft light you just go to this opacity and i'm going to reduce the opacity to be around 53 and let's look at the before and the after but we are not yet true we want to do more kind of work on this our image so the image will look more better now the image look more nice but we are not yet done we want to pick out the highlights the mid tones and the shadows from this our image here we want to pick out the highlights the mid tones and the shadows so we are going to transfer it into this image Image. so i'm just going to go to this image now i'm just going to go to this next image and what i'm going to do here now is i'm just going to create a new empty layer to create this new empty layer you have to go to this area here you just click on this place and it's going to create a new empty layer so once you have created that new empty layer we are going to be collecting the shadows the mid tone and the highlights now so you have to select your brush you increase the size of your brush and once you increase the size of your brush we are going to move to the lighter part of this image so i'm just going to look for any lighter part of this image and you can see center of the nose so what you are going to do now is that you are going to hold alt on your keyboard once you hold alt on your keyboard you select your brush hold alt on your keyboard then you select this lighter part of the image and once you select this lighter part of the image you increase the brush and just paint on this area once you have paint on these areas, this is the lighter part of the image. So the next thing now you are going to do is to select the darker part of the image. And as you can see, this area look very dark. And you can see this part look very dark. So I'm just going to select this area. This is the darker part of the image. So once I've selected 
that area i'm just going to paint on this place and as you can see this is the darker part of this image so now we are going to look for the mid tone and i'll show you a step or process that you can use to get the mid tone of the image now to look for the mid tones in your image you have to just select the background layer once you select the background layer you just go to select and then you hit color range and once you move to select and color range we are going to open this color range section so for the select you change it to mid tones and once you change it to mid tones you can see the fuzziness you can see the range and you can see the rest you can increase or reduce the fuzziness so once you are done you have to just click ok and once you have clicked ok what you are going to do now is that you are going to press ctrl j on your keyboard and once you press ctrl j on your keyboard hold ctrl then once you click on it it's going to select the whole mid tone so remember you have to press ctrl and you then click on this layer to this thumbnail here and it's going to select everything now you have to head to filter you go to blur and you select average and once you select average it's going to give you the average mid tone of your image so now what you are going to do is uh, click on your lasso tool to so deselect you have to deselect everything now you have to turn off the background layer so once you turn off the background layer you are going to be seeing the average mid tone that you will need so you select your brush click hold alt on your keyboard and you select this your mid tone here remember you have to hold alt on your keyboard and it's going to open this color picker once you hold alt you then left click on it to select the color so we are going to come here to draw this our mid tone in this center part and there's a mistake here too you have to make sure that you select this your layer one you don't have to draw this mid tone on this layer two again because if we remove this layer it's going to disappear so you have to move to this layer one to draw those mid tone at this area you have to draw it but i still feel like this our color here this our color at uh, this area i still feel like this color here is not the darker part of the image and that's the mistake that i did i went to select this other part instead of selecting the more darker part of the image this is the more darker part of the image so i'm just going to select this area and i'm going to paint it on top of these areas to be the darker part of the image so this is the lighter part of the image above this is the middle tone and this is the darker part of the image now the next thing you have to do is that you have to drag these colors we want to drag it into this our other image or you can just click on the color once you click on it you can press ctrl c once you click on the layer you can press ctrl c move to this image and press ctrl v or you can just go to this our layers here you can select it and drag it up once you drag it you can place it into this image then we are going to look for a more better place that we are going to be putting it so i'm just going to move it above this area so let's reduce the size i'm just going to reduce the size so we'll see what we are doing and i'll just move it at this area now you have to select this your gradient and map adjustment layer so once you click on the gradient and map you just go to this creating adjustment layer and select curves and your curves is now open so we are going to be using these curves to do some kind of editing that we help place all these mid tones the highlights and the darker parts of this our other image into this photo so now you have to click on this other part you have to click on these properties this area is here you have to click on it so once we click on it we are going to move to this our first color picker you have to click on this first color picker here your color picker is going to open and once your color picker is open we are going to select this our first color you're also going to be seeing something here you will see samples you make sure the sample is at all layers not as current layers or anyone so make sure the sample is at all layers once you are done you just click on this our lighter color and click ok now we don't want to save it so once you see save the new target colors as default you click on no now you look for the highlight of the skin you have to look for the lighter areas of the skin and as you can see this center of the nose is the lighter areas of the skin so once you click on it you will see that the image is going to change you can see that the color grading that lighter color grading has affects those lighter parts of the skin now we want to do the same thing that we just did for the next colors of the image so we are just going to double click on this area so once you double click on that one your color picker is going to open so i'm just going to select this dark point and once you select the dark point you have to click ok once you are done you just move to your areas you move for the darker part of the image so this is the darker part of the image you can see these areas 
is the darker part of the image so i will just click on this area and as you can see once i click on it the color grading has already changed so it's going to affect the color grading of our image now we are going to be doing the same for the mid zoom we are going to be doing the same thing that we did for the lighter and the darker area we're going to be doing it for the mid zoom so you just have to double click on this center color picker once you double click on it you have to just click on this your areas here these colors for the mid zoom so once you click on it you have to click ok select no now we are going to be looking for the mid tune which area is our mid tune and let's just select this area what you are going to do next is that you are going to delete this stuff that we put on our image you have to delete all these colors so you have to move to your color one layer drag it to your waist bin you have to just drag it down or you just hit delete on your keyboard to delete it so now let's look at the before and the after this is the before and this is the after but it doesn't look more nice the colors is too much so what i'm just going to do here is that i'm just going to click on this curves adjustment layer and hold ctrl on my keyboard and highlight the gradient and map adjustment layer and press ctrl g on my keyboard we are going to group the layer or you have to just right click on it and you select group from layers and we are going to rename it to color grid once we are done we are going to hit enter on the keyboard and now what i'm going to do here is that i'm just going to reduce the opacity for the image and let's just reduce the opacity now let's look at the before and the after. This is the before and this is the after. If we zoom in the picture again, this is the before and this is the after. And as you can see, we have transferred this our color grading from this image. We have transferred this kind of color grading from this image into this image. And as you can see, the color grading is now making this our other image to look more nice and beautiful. And we are done with this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If this video was very helpful to you, subscribe for more videos, turn on notifications so YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video and leave a like to help the channel out.